The island is a volcano. This is one of the craters. Now, Nisiros is the youngest volcano in the active volcanic arc of the Aegean. I'm going to show you one plan that shows the volcanic arc of the Aegean. Where you see spots, we have volcanoes. Nisiros is here. And according to the geologists, is the youngest one. Not very young for me because it's about 160,000 years old. But for the geologists, 160,000 years is nothing. All right? So, all these volcanoes in the Arctic volcanic arc, they are connected together with a domino effect. That means if one gives an eruption, you should expect that the others will give as well. Not in the human thinking, M meaning not tomorrow, maybe not even the next year, but it will give one. The most important geological incident that took place here in the area was 160,000 years ago, when we had a volcanic eruption from a submarine volcano that was located between Yali and Kos. This submarine volcano gave one eruption and this was the trigger for Nisiros. According to the geologists, 160,000 years ago, Nisiros was just 50 meters above sea level. And slowly, slowly it started going up. Then, at 40,000 years ago, we had a huge volcanic eruption. I'm going to show you one plan according to the geologists. This is how Nisiros should look like 50,000 years ago. 25,000 years ago we had another one and the last one was 15,000 years ago. <coughs> this is how it looked 15,000 years ago. And just a short period of the last lava eruption we had the slowly pouring of some lava. Lava is just another word of describing molten rock with some gases. This picture that you see, it is very close to how Nisiros looks like today. We are somewhere here. Now, yeah? inside the caldera. Yeah? So the last lava eruption was 15,000 years ago. From that moment and on, we have had hydrothermal eruptions. What's the difference? Lava eruptions are due to the existence of magma. Magma is molten rock, rich or not so rich in gases. And when it finds the surface of the earth, we call it lava. So magma and lava, it's exactly the same thing. Hydrothermal eruptions are eruptions with no molten rock. Just gases that gather Due to the existence of magma underneath, they become hot, and when the water, when the it becomes hot, what it becomes? Steam. Yeah. So when we have steam, it starts pushing, and when the power of the steam, the strength of the steam is bigger than the weight of the rocks above, we have hydrothermal eruptions. Stephanos and all the craters here were born out of hydrothermal eruptions. Stephanos is a very young boy, he's 3,000 years old according to the geologists. Yeah? Now, those of you that would like to go down, there is one path. If you go all this way from there, you can go down. But, first of all, the path is not a professionally made one. Yeah? So, if you have any walking disorders, if you have pure, poor eyesight, you cannot look very well, or if you're not feeling very strong, I wouldn't advise you to go. Also, more importantly, if you have had a recent heart operation, if you are suffering from asthma, if you are pregnant, if you are pregnant and you don't know it, <laughs> don't go down. Yeah? You smell something bad, yeah? this is sulfur, what you smell. You can imagine that underneath there, the smell is even stronger. Also, you can see some holes over there. Let's see if we have any steam coming out. Yeah. 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 Ye
from underneath and the temperature of the steam that comes up it's more than 100 degrees of Celsius so don't go very close there because also the surface of the earth it's quite thin the crust it's thin so maybe you'll go inside <laughs> also by no means don't go up from this horse and make a photograph don't do this to yourselves because you don't know when the steam will come up and I don't think that you'd like to become a barbecue <laughs> yeah?